Hello and welcome to my poorly lit kitchen. Today I'm going to share some of my favorite gadgets, cookware, and cleaning tools for the kitchen. A lot of these I've had for years and most of them are under $30. The goal for each of these items is to make kitchen work easier and to save space. Except for the cat dishes. Those are just cute. I would never want to encourage anyone to spend money that's not in their budget. So if you're in a spending freeze or you just don't want more stuff in your kitchen, I won't be offended if you move on to the next video. But if you feel like sticking around, let's get started. First on the list is this drying rack that's expandable so it can accommodate whatever space you have on the counter. It comes with this drying rack for plates and such, a little silverware caddy, but the best part is it has a spout for the water to drain through so it's not sitting in the bottom getting gross. Next on the list is this folding rack. So you could put this in a cupboard um, so it doesn't have to be out all the time, but this is great for larger pans if you have a lot of dishes to do, or a space to wash fruit, or even dry cookies. This next one is a simple object, but it comes in a pack of two and it lasts a really long time. I just throw them in the dishwasher to disinfect them. Okay, I think I would have laughed at myself even a few years ago, but these gloves are amazing. They're supposed to be kind of like indestructible and you can't even tear through them. I don't know, I haven't tried. But it's been so great, it saves your hands and you can make the water even hotter because your hands aren't as sensitive to it gets things clean. I do use these just, just for dishes, not cleaning. Anyway, I highly recommend. Okay, I can't tell you how many shirts I ruined, so I did start wearing an apron a lot of the time that I'm cooking just to save my clothes, but this is one I got from Marcello for Father's Day, and you can personalize it to say anything you want, so this fits him perfectly. He makes pasta every Sunday with my in-laws at their house for lunch after church and so he's been wearing this so i thought this was a fun one to add in for a gift or even for yourself next on the list are these bowls that have lids on top i do not know the kids help me put dishes away sometimes in the dishwasher i don't know where the lid to this one went i'll have to find it but it's so great because they look pretty enough to serve on the table but then you don't have to use an extra container for leftovers you could just put it on great for taking to someone's house so i really enjoyed these I bought this cute thermos for the kids for school in case they want to keep food hot or cold during the day and that's worked out really well. Okay, and then next, you can see how bad the lighting is here compared to the dining room, um, are these cat dishes. How cute are these little cats? It's a fun little whimsical thing to put on the kids' plates for different kinds of sauces. I don't like a whole lot of gadgets in the kitchen, but a lemon press has actually come in really handy and worth the space. Next on the list are air fryer liners. So instead of washing the air fryer each time, which can be cumbersome, you can try using a liner. I have a large one, so I end up using two. This little gadget saves space and is easy to use. You can just clip it on any size pot to strain your pasta. So the last three items on our list have to do with cleaning and I love this collapsible bucket. Handy for all kinds of things and it has a hook here so I just hang it on the pegboard in the utility room. I found this neutral spray mop. It's $19, which is a good deal. It comes with three of these microfiber pads and they just Velcro on, let's see, this way. And then you can wash them. It comes with a tool to kind of get the dirt and the hair off and then you can wash it. So it has a little container here you fill up. I have a little bit of Dr. Bronner's soap and some citrus and what essential oil do I have in there? I think just citrus first in there. So you pull the little lever here and it sprays and you mop. It's just kind of a, a nice reusable alternative to the Swiffer. So we've been using this and the kids actually like to do it because it sprays and... Okay, that's that. And finally, I think I was bragging about this in the last video. I've never had one of these cordless vacuums before. It comes with all these attachments, I'll show you, but I've just left it on this one because 
hair doesn't get tangled in the hose and they can suck up beads and all the things that we have going on in this house. I have used this every single day since I bought it. I think it's about, I wanna say $75 around that mark. So, and it does a really good job. It has the regular power here. And then it has this super, what is it? Super charred, I don't know. So anyway, this was a great little purchase. These are the attachments and extra filters that it comes with. So as you can see, I picked mostly white and neutral things in the 2010s. Do you call them 2010s? I don't know. It was popular to have like a favorite color in the kitchen and that you bought that and everything. I bought everything in red. I'm still purging out red things. So now I really try to buy just white, silver, classic pieces. And that's it for today. I hope you found something in there useful or helpful and I will see you next time. Bye.